and welcome to Easter Channel. I'm Easter and today I'm going to dance the emotion of when you finally come into your power. You cut the cords with all the things that were keeping you stuck. People's opinions or your own inner demons of self-doubt or low self-esteem. You dig deep within and you find what you have been looking for all your life. Yourself. Your truth. And with that, you find freedom, true freedom. The freedom that doesn't need to fight because it just is. Sometimes in your life, there comes a moment, one of those aha moments, where you realize that you have in front of you the last challenge before you manifest something that is yours by destiny, by birthright. And ironically, that last challenge means letting go of it completely, surrendering it to source and taking your full power and your focus back. Maybe you were waiting for more information to make that decision, but that aha moment makes you realize that you don't need to wait anymore. What you need is to fly free because you need all your power to reach your full potential. It is you alone with your power. Nothing else is allowed to come in between. So, it's time to say bye bye. That is one of the emotions that we're going to embody and work on on the new Dance Medicine online course for the Solar Plexus Chakra. Check out Easter Channel YouTube for more info about the course. Because... In this course, we are going to talk a lot about personal power, how to empower yourself and regain that power back if you happen to have been giving it away for whatever reason. 
And to do this, one of the key aspects is boundaries. Physical, emotional, mental, and energetical boundaries. So this course is for people that at some point in their lives have felt those boundaries being crossed. Whether it was some kind of physical abuse or whether it was a kind of emotional and energetical abuse of people trying to manipulate them to bring them down or dim their light through toxic, low vibrational behaviors such as gossiping or bullying. So let's talk a little bit about bullying. For this, I want you to feel the difference between gossiping about others and sharing about an experience I went through respecting and protecting people's identities as a way of making you relate to the topic that we are discussing now. Because this video will be watched by many people that are going through or have experienced bullying. And what I'm doing here is healing them because that is my job and that is the frequency that I'm sending right now. I am saying that it's not okay to be bullied, that it's not okay to have people gossiping and spreading lies about you, especially if you haven't even had a previous conflict where you might have done or said specific things to them. No, these are just people that have put a cross on you because you mirror something in them that they haven't taken the time to heal. You shining a light might mirror something to them. Like, for example, what are you doing with your light? Are you shining it or are you spending your time gossiping about others? They might think, why do you have this or that skill and I don't? Why do you get this person's attention and I don't? Why do you look like this and I don't? Then you must be bad and I don't like you. The kinds of energetic knives that people can unconsciously throw at you when they project their wounds onto you can come from everywhere, literally everywhere, because so many different peoples have different wounds. And normally, all of us navigate this well when it has normal everyday life levels. But sometimes, this escalates to many people at the same time in this very low vibration. And that is a different matter, because that is bullying. And you don't need to be a psychic to feel it. I have experienced this in the past. Now, these people are out of my field. They're not a problem because I have the kind of guidance and protection that is out of this world and I feel it every single day. But this video will stay and it will reach a lot of people that need to watch it and it will become part of my legacy. The viewers will know that when I went through this situation, I knew how to stand my ground. I knew my truth and I knew about the laws of karma. So I put the matter in the hands of the universe knowing that I am nobody to judge and I cannot teach others their lessons, they have to learn them themselves. I have seldom spoken about this situation and only to very very close people. I have never gossiped about these people. I have stood my ground and navigated the situation with the inner strength and the grace of the queen I am. I have poured the wisdom of the lessons from these situations into my work without ever stinging back or dropping any names or specifics while at the same time having to navigate the pressure of a whole bunch of people that have chosen to entertain one of the most toxic energies there is to entertain and I don't care how spiritual they think they are you can dress spiritual but that doesn't make you spiritual because being spiritual is being self-aware, conscious and wise and that comes from the small decisions that you make every day and with the maturity, the strong core values and the higher understanding of how universe works. If you choose to gossip or spread lies about others, you obviously haven't got this figured out and you obviously haven't got the gift of seeing or feeling energy. Because these people might think that I don't know what they did because they did it all behind my back. They might think that their behavior didn't have any consequences, but they forgot that I'm a powerful psychic. I can feel what goes on around. I don't need to see it. And they also forgot that I am guided and protected in this mission. You don't play with certain things that are divinely guided, destined, and bigger than you can even imagine. That is biting the hand of God, the hand that feeds you, which is not very smart. But people do stupid things blinded by ignorance, and we have all been there at some time myself included. So if you can relate to this or something similar, know that when you're going through this situation, the universe is gifting you with two blessings in disguise. One, the freedom that comes when you've had to face the subconscious fear that all human beings have of not being liked or accepted. 
when you are forced to face that and to heal it, you receive the rewards of true freedom. The freedom of not having fear anymore. Being able to live your life with the kind of authenticity that comes with the lack of fear for other people's opinion. And two, the gift of finding your truth. You have to deal with so many people saying and thinking lies about you that you really have to dive deep and find your truth inside. And you come out of that search with the most beautiful jewel. The jewel of your truth. The jewel that source hid in every human being's soul because it knew that only the people that deserve to have it would have what it takes to go search for it. So if you can resonate with a situation like this, I will teach you how to find the higher perspective and the blessings in disguise. I will guide you through learning to stand your ground, trust the universe and leave whatever people, places or things don't hold your same level of vibration. I will teach you to cut cords and regain your power back and I will teach you to have healthy boundaries and how to discern and recognize wolves in sheep's clothing. So to those wolves in sheep's clothing, I would like to say thank you because you may have tried to bring me down with your gossip but what you really did is allow me to find that freedom that I value so much and to find that truth inside of me that is the base of all the self-assurance and confidence I have right now to be able to follow my path and shine my light brighter than ever before. I am a person that always finds the light in every situation and one of my core values is to be able to find the higher perspective in anything. But I'm also a very grounded person with her feet on the ground, with a no-nonsense attitude that tells it like it is when the situation calls for it. I am very grateful for all the lessons learned in that situation. I have always been and will keep being respectful with those people. I don't think they're bad people, they're just people learning their lessons, same as everybody. But that doesn't mean I allow certain toxic behaviors in my life. And I certainly don't allow others to dim my truth. From my understanding, every situation has three levels. The highest level is the wisdom of the understanding of what this situation is trying to teach you. In this case, true freedom. The subconscious level in which you have to dive deep to find out what patterns is this situation asking you to reflect on. In this case, the fear of not being liked or accepted by others. And the middle level or 3D everyday level in which you have to navigate the situation as best as you can. And I am here to say very clearly that bullying is not okay. No matter how much I've benefited from this situation on the higher and subconscious levels, Bullying is not okay, period. And I don't care how spiritual you are. If you don't treat other people with a basic level of kindness, you haven't passed kindergarten, my dear. And I don't care if you project yourself as a cool loud doctorate. So one last question here. If you had a problem with your finances and you had to look for a financial advisor, would you pick somebody that has been wealthy all their life or would you pick somebody that has gone bankrupt and made millions several times in their life? There's some food for thought for you there. I certainly know which one would be my pick. And that's why by stepping into my purpose and guiding you on your path, I not only come to terms with many of the experiences I've gone through in my own journey, I realize that universe has provided me with the best tools to teach you and they work.